I learned this from Hope. Have you tried this boba tea flavor? It's a huge steal. Hot chicken flavor fried. Hello, my friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Ming. On my channel, I do a variety of lifestyle videos and Costco haul videos. And today, we're going to do another big Costco haul. But this haul is a little bit different from the previous haul because in the previous videos, I bought a bunch of home improvement items. By the way, if you haven't checked out my other Costco haul videos, make sure you check them out after today's video. But in today's video, we bought a bunch of groceries because we just moved into our new house and we definitely need food. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so that you won't miss out any future content. And let's get into the video. So the first item I got is the, ta-da! This is the Kirkland brand organic coconut water. So there are two different brands of coconut water sold in Costco. One is the Kirkland brand, which is the Costco's own brand. And the other one is from the other more branded coconut water. So we try to buy this one because this one is cheaper. And if you buy the big pack, then this one will be actually even cheaper. Kirkland brand, there are two different types of boxes, uh, individual little bottles of them, but we don't take them with us. We mainly just put them in our fridge and use them for our shakes. So I feel like we don't need those smaller. This one is way cheaper if you buy the bigger package. I learned this from Whole Foods. I used to buy the shakes, the smoothies from Whole Foods, but they're so expensive. But what I learned that they have this secret ingredient, which is coconut water. So instead of putting regular water or juice, put coconut water, because coconut water is not too sweet, but it has a little bit of flavor and it's so refreshing. Is the big bottle ones. If you just take them to work or things like that, you may want to buy the smaller bottles, but for us, these are actually way better deals. So we're gonna take them out. I feel like there's really not much difference between the generic brand from the store or the actual branded drink. So we just bought these and these are really good deals. So we're just gonna pet them up. Overall, I really recommend these for making smoothies at home because they contain a lot of electrolytes and nutrients, but not too much of a calorie. So really, really recommend this one. Okay, so the next item, as you can tell, is a fruit bowl. I used to just think about like buying fruit and cut them myself, but then I always make a mess and I don't eat every single fruit that I bought. So instead, we just bought the fruit bowl. It's definitely more expensive than buying single fruits, but it's the convenience convenient factor and not making a mess and not wasting any fruit. So I think it's overall pretty worth it. We found this really good deal and this is the chilled seasoned drumstick. This whole pack is only six dollars. That is a steal. Look how big it is compared to my head. That is huge. So $2 per pound, and this is probably three pounds. And it also comes with seasoning. It basically, it's what seasoning it is. Maybe ranch does come with the sauce, but I usually just don't use sauce or I use like other chili sauce. But this one sounds like a really, really good deal. $6 for so many drumsticks. How many drumsticks are there? It's a dozen of drumsticks, 12 drumsticks for six dollars so 50 cents per drum is a huge steal so wow. definitely really recommend this one if you are planning to go to costco make sure you go to that food section to see if they sell it in your costco love the costco ribs this is so great it's the cooked seasoned st louis ribs these are the st louis pork ribs look how good it is this is a little bit more expensive because this one is 16 dollars and it's seven dollars and 49 cents per pound it is st Louis styles. It's really, really tender. And overall, I felt like the quality of the meat is really good. The seasoning is really good. It's very tender. Overall, really, really recommend. I feel like it's better than a lot of the barbecue places, but it's just my personal preference. This is the cranberry walnut bread. Have you guys tried these before? They look so good as well, but I feel like this is going to be a little bit too big for me. I eat those for breakfast. But look how good. Yeah, I love cranberry bread and this one has walnuts, so it definitely adds nutrients and flavor. This 
scissor salad. This is our old time favorite. We always buy them every week. We buy the scissor salad and Brendan eats them for lunch because they're really healthy. It has a really fresh strawberry. And this one is a must have. We've tried this before and Brendan loves, loves this one. This is an organic chunky guacamole. Ta da! This one is really good because they're individually packaged. The flavor is really good and chunky guacamole tastes a little bit better just to our opinion because it feels like we're eating something, we're chewing on something and this is what the packaging looks like. It's really great for after school snacks, bring to school snacks, school lunch sites and things like that. You can just pack them into your lunch bag so it's very convenient of these guacamole so this box has a lot of them and because they're individually packaged don't have to worry about buying a huge container and not being able to consume them after opening the package. I've been obsessed with throwing away the packages because I feel like the packages are super bulky and I feel like after you take them out they actually don't take up so much room in the fridge or in anywhere you store things. And we got bananas. Costco bananas is really good, but sometimes they're too ripe, sometimes they're too green. The trick is to look into the boxes underneath the first layer, and usually you can buy those really great ones that is partially green and partially yellow. Because if you buy bananas that are super yellow, it's gonna go ripe super fast, especially when you buy them in bulk in Costco. So I always get some bananas that are partially green or completely green, so that in about a few days, they'll be ready to eat. We got Bella mushroom. Yeah, the pre-cut broccoli from Costco. They're so much cheaper than the regular store. And I love broccoli. I can just eat them every day. So I probably can consume them really quickly. Plan is to make mango smoothie with spinach and coconut water. We bought mangoes from a week ago, the frozen mangoes. So now I bought the spinach and coconut water. So I am ready to go. Yeah, these were on sale for $3 off. These are our old time favorite. The Baby goat, fully cooked mini wonton chicken salad. We also did a dedicated video reviewing this. And after we published that video, I think there are some subscribers said that this wontons are a little bit too small for the wraps and everything. But the way to cook it is that if you boil them or steam them, it may feel like the wraps are a little bit too thick compared to the actual stuffings and meatballs within the wrap. But if you pan fry them and the wrap becomes really, really crispy, you put them on top of your salad, they're considered those like wonton chips plus a stuffings in the middle. It's just the textures, the flavors are super, super good. So if you uh, didn't like steaming them or put them in a soup, I really recommend you to pan fry them because they become more and more crunchy with a little bit of flavors and stuffings in the middle. It's just so great. And the cilantro flavor is really good and refreshing on top of the salad. So give it a try and let us know how you think. And this one was on sale, so we of course have to buy it. Dun, 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 dun. Have to get the apples because you know, one apple a day keeps the doctors away. Um, I prefer to eat cherries but it's out of season so I guess I'll settle for apple. Alright so these are the items we got from Costco but the videos is not over. I'm gonna share with you what I got from the Asian store in town. Um, I think earlier we uploaded a video reviewing the Bibigo beef dumplings, the beef manju, beef bagogi manju dumplings. And I remember Brandon was saying he preferred to eat his normal dumplings. And you may be wondering, what is the normal dumplings? I think this brand is sold in a lot of Asian stores, so you should be able to find it in your own store as well. Ta -da! These are the Sriracha Chicken Guyoza. It's a Japanese style pot stickers. Ta -da! Okay, this is from the brand Daily Pride. Daily Pride. So. Here we go, this is what the product looks like. They also have the sriracha shrimp gyoza pot stickers, but we prefer the chicken ones. And they are so flavorful because, you know, the flavor is sriracha and we love sriracha sauce. These are amazing as well. So if you are a fan of spicy food or you're a fan of a spicy sriracha sauce, make sure you try these and let us know. I, I'm sure you can find it in the local Asian store. So. 
these are the ones we got. We're stocking up from the Asian store because you know it's winter season. Sometimes I get lazy and I want to get out. I just want abundant food in my fridge and freezer. So that when I'm lazy, I can just heat them up. A new buy. Okay, this one is so expensive. Da -da -da -da. This one, I think it was priced about seven ninety eight dollars, like eight dollars for a bag of fried rice, and it's not even a big bag; it's a, a small bag. This is the um, Baldak hot chicken flavored fried rice. Hot chicken flavored fried rice. Have you tried hot chicken ramen? It's our absolute favorite because I feel like there's something special about the hot chicken flavor. So we saw this in store. It's $8 for a small bag of rice and we were like, probably not worth it, but we just finally were like, let's just try it out. So we bought it. It's better to be good because this is so expensive. One serving per container. This is only one serving. This bag is one serving. It's more expensive than buying regular fried rice from the restaurants because restaurant fried rice are like $7.59 or something. But this one is so it better to be good. Ta -da, I got more. This is the pineapple cake. This is my all-time favorite. I think this is what brand Xu Fuji. This is the brand that I really, really like to buy from. Uh, pineapple cake is a Taiwanese snack. It's basically like soft hard cake it's like kind of, it's kind of like a cookie with stuff and i also saw this one this is the boba pineapple cake have you tried this boba tea flavor of pineapple cake i'm so intrigued actually i'm gonna try it on camera let's try the boba tea flavor pineapple cake on camera this is what the product looks like it is individually packaged let's see it does smell like boba tea. It's really sweet. It smells really sweet. And this is what the product looks like. And let's take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. I think I prefer the original pineapple cake. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like the fig rolls. The fig rolls that you get from regular stores. So basically, it's like a cookie cake type of texture, and within that is some stuffings. And I prefer the regular pineapple cake or mango flavor. This one is okay. It's not as sweet for sure, but I feel like it's a little bit too normal for me. Well, this is our big baby. This is our rice. This is a very special rounded shaped rice. We love to eat sushi rice or some rice that's similar to sushi rice because we just like that starchy texture of sushi rice. And it also tastes different. Whether if you make kanji or steam them or make sushis, they just go with everything. So we always go to the Asian store to buy rice that are like similar to sushi rice that are rounded shaped. So this is one of the ones that we like and it does taste different compared to the sesame rice. Alrighty, that's it for today's grocery haul. I'm so excited excited to eat all those delicious nutritious food and if you're also a fan of costco please comment down below what food items do you recommend from costco so that we can try it out as well and if you also have an asian store let us know what is your favorite dumpling options from the asian store and we would love to find it and try it out as well already that's it for today's video if you like please give it a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm so that youtube will push this delicious food grocery hauls to more people and subscribe to the channel ring the notification bell so that you won't miss out any future content Alrighty, that's it for today thumbs up subscribe ring the bell and i will see you in my next video Bye. Ooh.